In Grounded, most tools can be created out in the wild by using just your bare hands, but it won't be long before you encounter objects that require just a little bit more heft. If you're looking to upgrade your arsenal with some higher tier weapons and tools, specifically the tier two axe and hammer, well then here's how to do it. Let's start at the very beginning. What exactly are the higher tier tools and why do you even need them? When you first start grounded, most things you'll encounter require just the pebble axe or hammer to harvest. But if you want to chop down bigger weeds or break apart mints, which are used to create the best weapon in the game, you're going to need to upgrade. And while tier 1 weapons and tools can be crafted using just your crafting menu, tier 2 requires you to create an actual workbench. To unlock a workbench, you'll need to chop down a blade of grass and use a lab to analyze the item. You'll then find the recipe for the workbench in your crafting menu under the Utilities tab. It only requires a few blades of grass, 16 sprigs, and 2 sap, all of which are easy enough to find just by looking around on the ground. Once it's built though, you won't see any tools available under the Workbench Tools tab and this is where the exploration and combat come in. Although harvesting certain items will sometimes teach you the recipe automatically, it's hit or miss. To unlock more recipes in Grounded, you need to use the mobile labs to analyze various resources you harvest or kill, just like you did for your workbench. Of course, the absolute easiest way to find out exactly what is needed for these various tools and weapons is to simply create a creative mode save file, build a workbench, and look at every tool available, and what's needed to craft it. By doing this, you'll see that Grounded currently has seven tier two items available and one tier three item. Most of these are weapon upgrades, but the tier two insect axe and hammer are crucial to mining certain objects. So we'll focus on how to unlock those two pieces specifically. For the insect axe, you'll need one ladybug head, three bombardier parts, and four spider silk. Ladybugs are typically located in grassy areas. They're a tough fight at first, and the head is actually a fairly rare drop but luckily you only need one. The bombardiers are located in the more southwest corner of the map near the rake. Finally, you'll need some spider silk, which drops from, you guessed it, spiders. Spiders are very common, but are most prevalent around the big oak tree. Look out for webs. If you see spider webs, there's most likely a spider nearby. Of course, if you're afraid of spiders, like you should be, you can always find spider silk by just whacking the webs. Be careful though, there's hardly ever any webs without a spider close by. For the insect hammer, you'll need four stink bug parts, four berry leather, and one boiling gland. To find a stink bug, head to the northern region of the map. You'll know you're in the right place when you see a lot of dry blades of grass. If you're lucky, you'll find a stink bug battling another creature, so you can just stand back and pick them off with arrows. You'll want to try to keep your distance with stink bugs because if you get too close, they'll unleash a toxic gas. Berries are one of the tougher items to come by. They only spawn in one area on the map where it's dark and it's full of spiders and bombardiers, so make sure you're well equipped. To find them, head southeast towards the house. Here you'll find the berry bushes. Some berries are on the ground, but most are hanging high up and you'll need a rock or a bow to shoot them down. Once you've got one, club it with the ax, tier one will work, and harvest the berry chunks. Analyze the chunks to learn how to make berry leather and craft it using three berry chunks. Finally, you'll just need one boiling gland, which drops from the bombardier beetles. So if you've already killed some beetles for your parts for your tier two axe, then there's already a very good chance that you have a gland or two in your inventory. And that's it, you now have the ability to chop and smash any material needed for the current version of Grounded. For more on Grounded, make sure to check out our review of the early access version of the game. And of course, for everything else, make sure to stick with IGN.